Hi guys, for today's video I want to do part two of my nail polish collection. So if you haven't watched the first video, please head over to that video to watch it first. I will link that video down in the, in the description box bar below. So let's get started because I still have a lot of polish to show you guys. So the first one that I want to show you is OPI's number one nemesis. Now this is from the Spider-Man collection that came out, I want to say two summers ago. It's very pretty. It's a dark green with lots of gold, pink, blue, and green shimmer in it. It's very similar to the two polishes that I showed you in the James Bond collection. Um, one of them was called On Her Majesty's, On Her Majesty's Secret Service. It's very pretty. Um, this is one of the first OPI nail polishes that I got. It is OPI's Off With Her Red. This came out three or four years ago with the Alice in Wonderland collection. It is just a bright orangey red uh, cream. Really like this. It's very uh, easy to wear and it applies very nicely. This is OPI's Romeo and Joliet, not Juliet. I believe this is a very old polish because the label is black and all the new OPI labels are green. Um, this one is a dark burgundy with gold shimmer. It's very vampy and it's nice for Christmas. This one is yet again another OPI polish. It is from the Muppets collection that came out, not the set, the one that just came out this Christmas, but the one before that. So I think it came out in 2012 Christmas. I think no 2011 this is animalistic and it is a bright pink with gold pink and orange shimmer in it it's, i really like this color it's really nice and bright and fun this came in my top box two or three months ago it is la splash cosmetics nail polish in the color gray cashmere i showed this in i think it was my april top box that i came in it's just a nice creamy gray polish. I have yet to try it though. This is a special polish to me because this is the one that I got after I got engaged. This is a nail polish that I wore. It is Essie's, what's the color called? Meet Me at the Altar and it's from their bridal collection last summer. It is almost like a light uh, pastel pinky purple, but it's got silver, green, blue, and uh, fuchsia shimmer in it. It's very nice and delicate, and it looked really nice, especially on my fair skin. This one is kind of a special polish to me. This one is also really nice. Uh, it is Revlon's Nail Enamel in the color 430 Whimsical. It's a pastel. Uh, blue with circular glitter in the colors blue, light pink, and a bright fuchsia. And what I do like is the glitter is all different sizes. This one, however, it is very uh, watery, so you do have to put this over top. Another polish, but it is very fun. This is another Essie color, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have it. It's Mint Candy Apple really like this color. I'm really obsessed with mint right now. That That is one of the colors actually in my wedding next summer. So you can tell I really do like this color. This one applies very nicely just like the other Essie polish that I showed you and they do last a long time. The only thing with Essie polishes is I find that they just take a little bit longer to dry. But that's the only thing. This is the Nicole by OPI Modern Family Collection, and this one came out not this past Christmas, but the Christmas before that, and it's called Luke of the Draw, and it is a black uh, cream polish with lots of silver glitter in it of all different shapes and sizes, and it just adds a lot of uh, dimension and texture, so you can see it's very sparkly. This one is OPI's... I have a herring problem, and this was from their Holland collection a few years back. It is very similar to the Moonraker polish that I showed you in the previous video, however this one applies way better. It is a bluey uh, gray, and it has fuchsia uh, like sparkles or shimmer in it. It's very like different, and I do really like it. This one is, I should probably throw this one out because I can hardly use it anymore because it's so chunky. It is the Silver Shatter from OPI. This was when Shatter was 
really big and I do really like this polish however it has won a goopy mess and it is pretty much impossible to use this one I'm just gonna shake it up because the color is separated it's Essie's Moreno Cool this one I got for my birthday from a friend last year it's a purple gray cream I do really like this color it's very wearable and neutral this one is OPI's Here Today, Aragon Tomorrow, and it is a straight up dark green cream. Now it's probably coming across as black, however it is green. It's just very dark and vampy. This is another vampy color from OPI, and it is Light My Sapphire, and again it's going to seem like it's black. It's not. It's like a dark bluey purple. It's got the hint of silver shimmer in it, just a hint. This is, again, I have to shake this one up. Got this from my top box a few months ago. And it is Cushio color. I believe that's how it's pronounced. And it is, oh gosh, Make a Wish in Rome. It's just a creamy light blue. This one is again from the Muppets collection. It's from OPI and it's called Excuse Moi. Is a bright pink glitter with pink, orange, uh, silver, and gold sparkles in it. It's very, very pretty. I like pairing these two together. I think they look really good together. This one is very similar to, if you've watched my first video, the James Bond one. What is it called again? I forget what it's called, but... Once you see it, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Uh, how it almost looks like a confetti polish. This one came out with the Euro, the European collection. Not this past spring, but the spring before. A friend got this for me. It has blue, dark purple, and whoops, and magenta uh, circular glitters. And it does apply the exact same as the previous polish that I talked about in my first video. And I should probably tell you the name. It's polka.com. It's a pretty cute uh, name. I really like this blush. It's really pretty. The color combination is really nice. This one is Grape Set Match from OPI. It is a pinky purple with blue, green, purple, pink, and silver shimmer in it. It looks a lot prettier on your nails than in the bottle, I find. When it shines in the sun, it looks gorgeous. This is another Cushio color from my top box. And it is in the color Texas Rose, and it's just a light kind of ballet pink cream. Very typical pink. This one is from OPI yet again, and it's called Teal the Cows Come Home, like T-E-A-L. I thought that was such a cute name. And it is a bright blue. I don't think this is teal at all, in my opinion. Um, and it's got some faint uh, turquoise and silver shimmer in it very nice again it looks a lot nicer on your nails than in the bottle this one is very similar to a previous nail polish that I've shown you guys from the OP or from the James Bond collection and this one's called dear Santa got this a few years back it is a, a nice red with gold and silver or gold and red uh, shimmer and glitter in it it's very pretty I always wear this during Christmas time it's one of my favorites this one is OPI's I Break for Manicures, and this one came out with their Touring America collection, which I want to say came out two or three years ago. It's a dark, creamy purple. It's almost got a bit of a gray undertone to it. This is OPI's Spark de Triomphe, and it is a gold slash silver glitter. I really like this because you can wear gold or silver. Looks very nice and it's very sparkly. This one, that is a base coat. You don't want to see that. It's pretty boring. This one is OPI's Give Me More and it is a dark vampy purple. Again, it's going to look black on camera, but it is a very dark purple. This one is a very popular color two summers ago. And this OPI has just spotted the lizard from the Spider-Man collection. And it is a duochrome. It is gold, green, and blue. It's very hard to describe, but I'm sure you guys have seen this color like a million times. 
This is the color Servin' Up Sparkle from OPI, and it is a holographic silver glitter, but it's got all different sizes of glitter in it, and you're supposed to, these two came together, and you're supposed to wear this as a top coat, but I personally never do that. So I find the purple is sparkly enough on its own. This is OPI's Charged Up Cherry. is a bright pink cream. It's very pretty. I really like this for summer on your toes. Oh, I've got two more polishes. This is, I've never used this one because it just came in a collection and it looks like it's kind of chunky. That's what I don't like about the shatters. It's just the white shatter from OPI. I'm kind of over the shatter phase. I'm sure everyone's over it by now. This one I really like. Uh, it's OPI's My Private Jet. It is a coppery brownish gray with like holographic uh, shimmering glitter and it. it's just gorgeous when it shines in the sun. It has so much texture and dimension to it. It's one of my favorite polishes and it applies very creamy as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I kind of have a ridiculous amount of nail polish. I know it's not as much as other girls on here, but it is still quite a bit and it is continuing to grow, which is bad. Um, I probably should get rid of some that I don't use. However, I still do really like collecting nail polish. Um, again, if you guys want to see any of these nail polishes um, on myself, I if you just comment below, I will try to wear those in a future video. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video a lot, and I will see you guys later. Bye!